based on the fact that I pretty much live my life by the mantra that every machine is a smoke machine if you use it wrong enough, we're gonna put shot shells in this Element Max. All right, here we go, McAfee Speed coming at you. No wasting your time, no going ahead and throwing your uh, content minutes in the garbage here. We have shot shells, we have a 495 Element Max 50 caliber here, and we've got a target 25 yards away. These are the Air Venturi shot shells that are marketed for the Dragon Claw. So it's a very similar platform, both barrel and power output wise, except for the fact that this makes double the horsepower that the Dragon Claw brings to the table. I see no reason why I can't slap my ears on, put one of these bad boys in the breech, and get it down range. First, I'm loading it in forward as a cylindrical bullet with the plug portion in the rear of the round. I saw good success flipping these backwards when I previously tested them. We'll do that test today as well, but I really want to use them as intended first. Let's get it. All right, what happens? No one knows. Camera at risk. Firing. Okay, so I see what happened here. We actually have an impact, which looks like potentially the shell casing or the wad in the top right-hand corner, and we have some spray of birdshot on that target out there. I'm moving some cameras, I'm getting closer, and I'm gonna repeat this test because that worked fairly well. Walk up here with my single shot. I don't even know if this is a 410. Left side target, fire. Unconfirmed result, go again. Decent, decent. So I'm actually probably just a little bit off as far as my sighting for this shotgun shell is concerned. But I do see that target lighting up pretty good. Let's cut the distance in half again, go to the 10 yard mark and see what happens. Left side target. That's the distance you wanna be at to take a rabbit. Right side target. So this really is the sweet spot as far as where this thing is going to end up being an effective package with those shotgun shells. I haven't really sussed out exactly what the best way to load them in, be it forward or backwards as we saw in the previous video, but for me at this point, 10 yards would make a rabbit graveyard dead. You could probably also make the same type of math happen with a squirrel or a pheasant in a tree, as long as you kept that distance under about 10 or 15 yards. Now I definitely want to go ahead and take this one step further for you gentlemen. I've got these absolutely magnum style shot shells that I received some time ago from Jim of Texoma Precision Pellets. These are significantly larger than the Air Venturi ones, and I want to see what they're going to do in this Element Max. It's really starting to show its versatility being a single shot rifle that has absolutely proven itself to be 100 yard capable and coming to the table today as a single shot shotgun. Let's get it guys. Magnum shot shells, let's go. Oh, dang. They don't quite fit. So it looks like the breech is just too small to go ahead and make this happen, but we're not gonna let that stop us. This doesn't have to be cocked for me to go ahead and load it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, oop, drop it on the ground apparently. So what I'm gonna do is stuff this in the bore end of it just like so. Oop, I heard it hit the back of it. Let's shoot it. Wow! So similar, similar performance. Let's go again. This actually might be quicker based on the fact that I don't have to open the breech. 10 yards. Left target. Decent. 10 yards. Right target. This feels very revolutionary war and honestly kind of cool. I'm not really a muzzle loader guy, but the whole muzzle loader action definitely makes it feel very vintage. All right, guys, I don't have too terribly much pressure left. I don't have too terribly much cardio left after moving my camera, but I want to go ahead and push the versatility level of this thing truly into the red. Haven't done anything with the scope. Got a good plethora of ammunition here. Let's see if we can just be accurate at 50 yards after feeding it unorthodox ammunition all episode long. Hopefully let my heart rate settle. Use some type of unknown variety of Mr. Hollow Points golden ammo here. Load the seed. It's kind of big for the breach. 
cock the rifle, change the objective to 50 yards, give yourself some zoom, shoot the gun. Six inches high. A little bit of mathification on this and see if we can't shoot a bullseye before the end of the episode. Seems like we got it established. I bet you I can hit those field target spinners too. Currently at 2,000 PSI, using up approximately 100 PSI per shot on this gauge. Come on, skill, luck, equipment, and the grace of God. Just under, good Lord. It's dropping, 1750 PSI. Will I be able to actually hit the field target animal? Where is my reference on the paper? Really low. I'm really low at this point. That means my pressure is playing a huge role. But even at 1,700 PSI, I think I can take what I know and apply it. I mean, maybe I'll fall on my face. I've been doing that my whole life. But we'll see if we can connect. I'm going to try. It's like Eminem. You only get one shot. Yes! Yes! Go again or it's luck. Oh, 1,400 PSI driving her into the dirt. Still just under it. 1,200 PSI. How low can she go, gentlemen? That's what it's all about right there. What they say in that movie, Jarhead? Take what you know and apply it. That's my pressure level. And at the distance of 50 yards, we're still dealing lethal energy in 50 caliber. I think it's going to be an absolutely great place to go ahead and end today's episode. But if you liked today's episode, give it a thumbs up. You want to see more content like this, make sure you subscribe for more with that notifications button so you can stay current on the channel as well as when these videos come out. If you really like what you saw today, make sure you share it so somebody else can see it. And I'll catch you boys in the next one.